Hello everyone, quick video today, I just wanted to give my thoughts on not just the live action One Piece trailer, but the trend we've seen of live action anime remakes in general. I haven't mentioned this in the channel before, but I'm actually a huge anime and manga fan, and One Piece is one of my absolute favorite series. In fact, I've got a Why You Should Read One Piece video planned in the distant future, but that isn't important for us today. I wasn't excited for this one when the first images were released, but I do like some of what I see here. The action looks good, some of the pirate ships look good, the Lord of the Coast looks good, and the characters, for the most part, don't look half bad. I'm still somewhat skeptical, but I admit there is a chance of it being good, especially if Oda really has endorsed it as enthusiastically as I've heard. Now, in most live-action anime adaptations, and most live-action adaptations in general, I usually ask, what is even the point? And most of the time, it's just a cash grab, and I kind of feel that way about the Avatar The Last Airbender live-action remake. There should really be some reason for remaking the existing story, and this, funnily enough, is one of the few cases I feel gives a reason for it. The original One Piece anime was started at a time when the standard of anime adaptations was to drag them out and add tons of filler to inflate the episode count while barely any plot happened. See also that infamous DBZ episode where Frieza says you have five minutes and it ends up taking two hours. Thankfully, anime companies have stopped doing that by now, but that doesn't do anything for One Piece since it's over 20 years old and still ongoing. If someone isn't a manga reader, the anime is the only way they could reasonably experience the story. But that isn't a good option when it's slow as molasses and over a thousand episodes. I was thinking about this, and I felt that sometime after the manga is finished that maybe they could give it the Brotherhood treatment i.e. making another anime adaptation after the manga is finished with a much more reasonable pace and without any filler. But that could only be done long after the manga and the original adaptation are finished. But this isn't an issue with the live-action version since it's different enough to be its own thing, but it's also being made on a seasonal basis, and it's being made when most of the story is already finished and won't be catching up for a while, assuming it does catch up, which I kinda doubt that it will. However, it still doesn't answer the last issue I have, and that's the concept of making a live-action remake at all. It's no secret to animation fans that the general public, in the West at least, still kind of looks down on animation as a just-for-kids medium. With the obvious exception of adult sitcoms like Family Guy, BoJack, etc. Yes, there are shows like Arcane and Invincible, but those are still not the norm, at least not yet. And live-action remakes, looking at you Disney, are not helping this. Hence why it comes across as incredibly based when Guillermo del Toro gives a speech about how ANIMATION IS CINEMA after winning an Oscar for stop-motion Pinocchio. And that's without considering the inherent strengths animation has that simply don't work in live action, such as exaggeration and abstraction. The former being something that can be used to express aspects like extreme emotion in the sheer impact of an attack, and the latter being something that can help keep the audience immersed with non-human characters, with them being just another part of the world. Both things that One Piece takes advantage of and don't translate well to live action. In short, I'm conflicted. I like quite a bit of what I see in the trailer, and the fact that Oda is on board with it makes my hopes rise just high enough. But not everything looks good or could reasonably translate to live action all that well. That said, I'm just optimistic enough at least to give this adaptation a chance. With that said, what do you think? Do Oda's comments give you any hope, or do you think live-action adaptations, and a One Piece adaptation in particular, are a bad idea in mere concept? Whatever your thoughts, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will see you all next time!